Hey YouTube, it's Finger I figured I'd just do a quick update on how the tank is doing. Uh, later in the video we will be going to the basement tank and checking it out. Uh, got a couple new additions, uh, had some struggles and I've also had some successes. So, First thing you'll notice, I moved a lot of stuff around and the yellow tang is no longer in here so first we'll start out with that go over here and the clownfish experiment has officially been stopped um, the yellow tang seem to have had some sort of stomach um, virus with them and so what I've been doing is that I've been running them on copper this whole tank is being run on copper, and this is a gold rim tank. He's being quarantined. Uh, he's doing pretty good. As he has swapped out the clowns, I put the black ones in my main display. I put these ones in here. Um, so, the gold rim, he's really cool. He's actually one of my favorite fish ever, so hopefully I can keep him doing good. Uh, he had a little bit of outbreak of ick before I added the copper to this tank. But now he seems to be doing good. It's been in my in here for about two and a half weeks. Keep him in here for a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to wait three weeks after when he got ick. So it's only been about a week and a half. So hopefully he'll stay strong and healthy. See the yellow LEDs. Got a couple of pumps. I had these guys connected, but they kept fighting, so I just put a little acrylic piece down the middle. It's just wedged in there. It isn't even um, siliconed. Like the smaller clown can actually fit through, but none of the other fish can. So this is all doing good. Walk back over to the main tank. See, there's the black clown. Want to cap. This is a new piece right here. This is a purple rim or a purple Monte cap. It's doing good. Scroll through all my acros. And over here, I just got this piece today. This is a green Millie. Millie. It's doing pretty good. I mean, the tank in general is doing good. Um, a lot of you are probably wondering what's going on with the LEDs, why I don't have them over my tank yet. And that is because I canceled the order on LEDs. Um, too busy right now to do anything with those. Um, I have the money waiting. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the same unit that I'm going with for the basement tank, which is the Reef Tech Prometheus unit. So, waiting for that to come out, or um, waiting to see how it looks on the basement tank, and then going from there. Uh, from the par levels I've seen in person, um, one of my friends has it set up on his tank, and it's insane par reading, so much higher than the Radeon and the AI Souls, so I think I'm going to do that. It also covers a 30 by 30 square. So it's perfect for that basement tank. See, I got a Sally Lightfoot crab. Got the Wells Ophelia clam um, actually fell from up there. So I moved him over here in this corner and he turned. So he's right up against the glass and I can't turn the glass. I mean, I can't clean the glass. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but soon fine. Yeah, so I moved a little bit of stuff around. Macro is doing good as always. Elegance is just loving this spot right here. I mean, I wish I would have moved him there earlier because he's just rocking that spot. Here's another new piece right here. This is 
pretty cool acro. Colors don't really show on it, but it's really cool. One thing I'm not too thrilled about is this candy cane. Um, actually, I had it sitting right here, and it rolled down and touched this chalice and this chalice, and it just ate away at this candy cane, both of them. So, candy cane probably don't frag off all that dead. Everything else should do good, come back. Frog spawns really loving the short pulse mode. I used to have it on, um, what's it called? Reef crest. And it didn't do as good as it is on short pulse. I got my wave going. It's not that big of a wave. This is only at like 75%. Um, the power. Because any louder and you can hear this pump downstairs on our first floor so what I've done is I'm getting two Tunzi stream pumps to replace this um, MP40 and hopefully that will be enough and they're a lot quieter so oh the clam is trying to move Apparently he doesn't like where he's at, so. Yeah, everything seems to be doing fine in this tank. Uh, Growth-wise, I mean, these bulbs are done, so. I'm really waiting for the LEDs to see he flipped himself back up. But... I'm really just waiting for the LEDs before I get too many more corals in here. Um, because with these old bulbs, it's going to be, I'm going to have to ease the fixture up to 100%. It's probably going to take a while. Considering the part at the surface is probably only like 450 on this tank because these bulbs are shot, but. Oh well. Sump, nothing's changed. Uh, going through B-Ionic like crazy. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do about that. I'm not sure there's anything I can do, but... I feel like a lot of it is getting wasted in the sump. Turning into calcium carbonate, so... I'm going to try placing that closer to the skimmer and that one closer to the return pump so they don't collide instantly when they hit the water. So yeah, this is Finger Loving Out and I'm out. Or actually we're going to go down to the basement tank so see you then. Hey YouTube, this is Finger Loving Out. I figured I'd just do a quick video on the basement tank since I haven't done a video in a while. So you see here the basement is finished and we were just waiting to set up the tank. Uh, so he's got some nice cabinets and we've gone over it, hood, staring down into the tank. Tons of space up there for the LEDs. The tank itself, a 93 gallon cube. Stand and everything, and look back. The basement's looking pretty nice. So, hoping to get water in it soon. So, the rest of my basement, pool table. Walk back to the sump uh, to the sump room. Not much has changed there, but I can show you. Pipes are there. Uh, oops, sorry, this fan, not the light. There we go, sorry. Um, this is where the drain and the return lines are. Uh, here's where the drain's going to be, so where, when I do water changes, I just flip a valve and it drains into there, so. 
Yeah, this is finger out of the nail. Oh yeah, something's gonna be right here. So I have a skimmer, some uh, deucers and everything. So hoping to have this set up by the end of the week, and I'll do a video then. It's finger out of the nail. I'm out. Peace.